Hello, harvest. Welcome to the back porch. It is nice and muggy out here down in Nashville, Tennessee. Doesn't feel like fall. You can hear them night bugs. I'm gonna play some songs for ya. I got my candles. I got my beverage. I was gonna get all dressed up, but then I thought, hey, it would be way more authentic to just be like wearing a bandana and like clothes you've been wearing for three days, because this is a festival, right? That is. It's harvest gathering. <laughs> I'm gonna play some songs for you guys. <sighs> I wish we could be together, but we will be soon, you know. The here and now is infinite in the present, but in retrospect, it only lasts like a second or two, so we will be all together very soon. We're gonna play the Sakura for you all. The guitar I usually play is the Shanti, but I decided on the Sakura because, because the one and only Seth Bernard is a connection to this guitar. This Sakura is like the red violin of the Bunch Shippers family, and it's been through many hands and has great stories, and it has belonged to a one David Bunce, and I learned how to play guitar on this instrument. Um, I played banjo before I played guitar, and... And um, my dad, David Bunce, was um, smart enough to realize that the, what was holding me back in learning instruments was my keen ear, and I couldn't stand the bad sounds of being a beginner musician. And so what he did is he took this guitar and he tuned it to open tuning and said, there, now it won't sound bad even if you strum it open. So I was like, yes. And so I learned how to play two and three finger chords in open tuning. And then once I became dexterous, I tuned it to standard and was then a guitar player. The first songs I ever wrote as a teenager were written on this instrument. And then fast forward a few years into the future, Seth Bernard was down in New Orleans, Louisiana and had uh, this new Martin that he had bought himself stolen out of his car and um, it was a devastating story and at that point I had had a different guitar so the Bunch Shippers family decided to pass the Sakura on to Seth Bernard so he got to play this guitar for a little while and then fast forward a few more years after that um, Seth had gotten another new guitar and the Sakura was just sitting at the farm gathering dust and I was out there one time and and saw it and um, Chrissy, Mama Chris Bernard, saw me, I grabbed it and I brushed the dust off of it and she said, you know, that really belongs to you, you should have that. And so um, I got to take it home to Cadillac and I played it on the road for a long time and this is the guitar that I use in the studio. It's actually been used in a lot of studios. I've had people borrow this guitar to be used in the studio a lot. Japanese made.
fix that. Okay. Um. <laughs> we live pretty close to the fire department. And the highway.
little buckaroo. This is Dominic's banjo. This is not my banjo. This is the banjo that hangs on the wall in our house that everybody just grabs to play. Lately, Leela's been wanting to play it, which is very exciting. She puts it across her lap and goes. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do one I haven't done in a really long time. Bear with me.
the Jimmy Rogers song. to see day after day and the annual traditions this year are being missed but I know I'll see you all again um, sometime soon and it will be glorious and there won't be a moment that we'll take for granted when we see each other again isn't that right there's always some there is always something born out of the ashes life can spring from what is left after a fire, and I am positive that the quality of life is going to get a lot better <laughs> pretty soon. This is for you guys, here we go.
harvest everybody you're all in my heart i will see you soon good night <laughs>